All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For another edition of Naya Huatli. Played this uh, like two days ago and it was a whole lot of fun. Really enjoyed this deck. Um, and it was pretty powerful too. Um, especially Huatli Radiant Champion was really pleasantly surprised of how good this card was um, in our deck. All three abilities. Um, well, really, the, the first ability only gets you to the ultimate, but both minus abilities were amazing, especially the minus one of pumping our creatures. Like, we'd make, like, a, a little... We'd have, like, a lifelink token, and we'd make it a really big lifelink token to, you know, help us stabilize and, and turn races around or um, pumping up this Spellbreaker that was uh, Trample and so on. So, uh, of course, we have this one, this Watley that can uh, just spit out a bunch of dinosaurs, which is cool. Yeah, dinosaurs are cool, right, Hawkeye? Okay. Yeah. Or uh, or if we're, like, going aggro, we can make, like, some of their creatures not be able to block um, and attack in and stuff. And So, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. Uh, we struggled with uh, Finality from Sultai. Um, and so in order to save our creatures from Finality, we got this, this little spicy number over here. We got some tower defenses in the sideboard uh, that, you know... Hopefully do some work. People probably won't see coming. Um, before I had, like, whenever we played this last time, I was just playing um, uh, Takali Honor Guards. Because, you know, we don't have ETB effects. And so I was like, oh, man, Takali Honor Guards are going to be real good in the sideboard uh, coming on in. But then uh, we saw the the match three. Takali Honor Guard cost us the match. Um because we had Huatli Emblem, and it turns out you don't get to actually draw cards with Huatli Emblem when Takali's on the battlefield, because that's a creature entering the battlefield and making something trigger. And so we were not able to draw cards because of our stupid Huatli, and yeah, that was not so good. So Huatli's gone, tower defense in, and uh, let's give it a try. Dun dun, dun dun dun, dun. No, I don't think you need Unbreakable Formation against Esper. Um, because, yeah, like I, I don't think you really need that. Um, against es Esper is the kind of deck that you don't need to really uh, over... You don't need to overextend against Esper. Uh, you can just have a, a couple of threats in play because they don't have things to block it. The problem with Finality against um, Sultai is that they have like their creatures, their Wild Growth Walkers, and... Whatever, they have like their creatures on the battlefield where you have to go real wide um, in order to kill them. And so like you're forced into that game plan. And so whenever you have that game plan, um, this is a little annoying, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and flower. Um, so when you have that game plan, then the, that's when the sweepers really kill you. Um, and so that's why you need the tower defense there. <laughs> Tower defense versus finality could be a world's first here to witness. What if... Uh, dang, Ganora land. So, we just... You know, I would prefer to have the cast the flower after Hero of Precinct 1. But, I mean, we have history, but only for the next turn. And, you know, it's just kind of an awkward situation with our mana. What if we tower defense against Mono Blue and just get him? Oh, they could spell pierce this? I should just Amara because of spell pierce. Yeah, I probably should just Amara there. Amara gets outclassed by, you know, they play Tempest in the next turn. Eh, I still don't really regret it. I think that's fine. Okay, I don't mind that. We were, had two mana, we couldn't use the next turn anyway. Not a big deal. Yeah, Mono Blue attacks in with all their stuff. Alright, so I can march for two right now. I can just cast this march and we get two tokens.
I'm gonna try it. If we hit this land and get to Tristani, it's, you know, it's real big time. Tristani? Oh, yeah. Rewarded. Hey, Muzio Gaming. Then we could, like, flourish next turn. Yeah, we going wide. Real wide. See if they got counter magic. Even if they do, we make a 2-2, two -two, so that's that's pretty good. Oh wow. No counter magic. Expect no mercy. Huh. I mean I get to minus, but then they just sack their storm tamer. Oh well, might as well. Might as well just pay one. Keep two loyalty on Huatli for the next turn. Because if I if I go minus two um, and try to do Storm Tamer and Herald again, they just sack the Storm Tamer. It would it would have been great to be able to do the minus three. Um. Maybe shouldn't be leaving Hero back. Hey, hi, I'm doing real good. Well, it may not have been lethal. Depend depend on uh, if they have Trickster. You know, like if if they have trick if they had Trickster, they could like flash in like you know turn off the Tristani. Then my creatures are one ones kind of thing. Well, no, I oh I understand that, but. Meritium, I couldn't, I couldn't minus three because of Storm Tamer. Storm Tamer counters the ability, so um, even though it would be the best to be able to do the three, and then they couldn't block, um, Storm Tamer just counters the ability automatically. So, all right, yeah, we could have some tower defenses in here. Um, not sure if we really need that though. We got the Baffling Ends, the Harpooners, and the Collisions. So that's seven two-mana removal spells that's coming on in. Um, I mean, I guess a Johnny's good with Harpooner, but we only have the two Harpooners. Um, I, think I, just, I think I just trimmed my Planeswalkers here in this matchup. Expensive, easy to counter. Oh, or actually March. March is a card that's pretty easy to counter. And two Huali's. Maybe all three of these Huali's. Maybe two of each Huali. Do we have one Huali, one Huali, one March? Yes, the entire ability, even with three. Yeah, that's what Storm Tamer does. It counters the ability. Actually, I think I want Conclave Tribunal and a Johnny. Let's 
try this. Um, thing I'm worried about is we could get outclassed by their big flyers of Terramander and Tempest Gen, uh, considering we have a bunch of tutus. So that could certainly be a problem. But hopefully with the the seven new removal spells plus an extra, like the seven new two mana removal spells plus an extra tribunal, hopefully we can take out the larger flyers. Yeah, Storm Tamer. Storm Tamer is a, a great card. Um, as far as Eternal Play goes, one mana, one one though. When there are Eternal Play has a lot more decks that aren't inter interacting, and so it's kind of hard to play like the one mana, one one. Hey, Jolner. Hmm, that resolved pretty easily. You know, Harpooner kind of would have been a better card to play, maybe. Yep, this is the Decemberists. Uh, song's called This Is Why We Fight. We really don't need more lands, deck. Counter spell is just real likely there. We can, you know, double spell on like a next turn. We're ahead on the battlefield. We don't need to. We're ahead on the battlefield, and we don't have ver very many spells in hand. It's like every spell that we have is, um, you know, going to be valuable. So we'll see if they have, you know, I guess dive down would save the creature here. All right, just tapping the Amara just in case they do have dive down. Okay. Because in case they had dive down, I wasn't going to be able to attack with Amara, and I wanted to make a creature for sure. So we, we take one less, we give them one less damage, but we also gain one life. So we could have been at, it could have been 16 to 17. Um, detection tower, huh? And Sphinx is an Ascari. Even though it scries one every turn, it doesn't get like really big and kill you super fast like Tempest Gen can. Hey King Toll, yeah, having a good day. Hey Papa Tim, good afternoon. Yeah, starting off Starting off with a really fun deck here. I slept in a little bit, didn't get as much done like around the house and and uh, you know, and stream upgrades and stuff as as much as I wanted to today. Um, but got a little bit, you know, got some rest and you know, feeling feeling good. Yeah, had had the later stream night last night. Uh, stayed on for a couple couple hours after. Um, not a good draw. But we're we're ahead and we're looking good. Yeah, this we changed. We only changed the we we took out the Takali honor guards from the sideboard for tower defenses, um, for our, our anti soul soul tie card, because um, the tower defenses save our creatures 
from uh, Finality. Um, so yeah, we have we have both Hualis in the deck. Uh, the red white Huali and the green white Huali. Um, this is not really the matchup for them, though. Planeswalker is not necessarily great against Flyas. We have plenty of lands, though. Could easily pay for Spell Pierce. I hope our opponent has a bunch of Spell Pierces in their hand. I wonder if I should have just attacked out with everybody. Like, if our opponent blocks Harpooner and Amara, they would have taken another 8 damage. And they'd be at 5, and we'd have another 1-1. One, one. Wow. That is not a card I've ever seen in Mono Blue. His regards. My device is finished, as are you. I kind of feel like I should have attacked out with everybody last turn. Huh. This Tesser is going to be really annoying. If I attack with these, they can kill Amara or Kral Harpooner. I mean, I'll trade a Namara or a Kral Harpooner for a Tezzeret. We at least make a... We, we tr turn whichever one they kill into a 1-1 one -one at the very least. Oh, yeah, good call. Thanks. Didn't reset the sub goal. Zero out of five for the day. Yeah, that's yeah. We we kept the Ajani in to be able to recur Harpooner. Yep, and we have a, we have a lot of good two drops as, as you can see with like the Shauna, you know, Amara, Hero, Priest, and one. the last you've heard of me. Yeah, thank you there, Kelly. So they are scrying each each turn though, so you know, like they're most likely drawing pretty good cards. Playing this pre-combat so we can make a 1-1. Because I kind of want to just attack with everything. I guess I could give it haste, but we'll see if it even resolves. Yeah, not likely to resolve. Thought Collapse? Yeah, those are three good spells. They block the Harpooner, they go to 5. They block the Hero, they go to 4. You know, either of those sound pretty good to us. <laughs> Budget Mono Blue? <laughs> Is that even a thing? Yeah, Mono Blue is already budget. <laughs> I don't think there's a... Like that that doesn't really sound like a thing. Yeah, yeah, they put in more expensive cards. They made it non budget. They put in more rares with these Sphinxes and a mythic. There's a mythic in mono blue. They had to throw a rare into the into the mana base. I don't know why there's a detection tower. Like, like, I don't know what Mono Blue is trying to target, or like why they want to, their Tempest Gen to not be as good. 
Oh well. It's big blue. Yeah, it's weird. It's like game one, we didn't see anything like that. Um, we saw just regular mono blue cards game one. And then game two, yeah, there's only detection towers and sinks of foresights and Tezzeret and thought collapse. It was crazy. All right, well, we're on the draw. We're, we're never lucky. This is an unfortunate uh, hand with Flower not being able to get a red source. Hey, there's a red source, though. Um, if I cast Flower right now, we'll have to shock in the stomping ground. Well, I guess check that. We'll likely have to shock in the stomping ground. But I'm going to go ahead and get this planes out of here. Hey, Versican. Mulvovo, 22 with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Mulvovo. Thanks for the support. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And I do appreciate that Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I wanted to... Yeah, it's 4.33 a.m. where you're at. I wanted to lead off with this deck just in case you, you did stay up. Alright, we're taking some damage. Alright, so now we don't necessarily have to shock right now. Don't have to shock for the Spellbreaker. We got History. Even though Spellbreaker would not necessarily die to the burn spells, but... Ooh, Flame of Keld is rough. I was feeling still... I still was feeling okay about this whole game until that Flame of Keld. Hmm. Flame of Keld's a problem. So next turn I can I can Huali minus one and, and pump up the, the vampire to be a, a four four lifelinker as one option, or I can a Johnny and put a counter on it. You know, like these are like my two options depending on how many creatures I still have kind of thing. A little surprised they don't just wait on that Vyoshina Pyromancer till next turn. Alright, let's pump it up to be a four four. From the will of many, the might of one. We still have two creatures back on D. So yeah, yeah, we got to we got to gain as much life as we can. Basically. Yeah, it's going good. We're playing a bunch of Huatlis. So it's certainly going good. Maybe one of these is a land. Go ahead, play your land. Pass the turn. No, Shock Watley. Dang. Electrostatic field with Flame of Keld is rough. Yeah, that, that Flame of Keld is just... was pretty crazy. Um, like I said, I was feeling good about that game until the Flame of Keld. So let's get some baffling in, in here and another tribunal. Um, everything we have is kind of decent. We don't have anything that's horrible. Um, even what like this Huatli's tick tick up can gain some life, which is pretty cool. 
Um, we don't need a bunch of them though. You know, we just don't need a lot of five drops. So I'll trim down to one of those. Um, hmm. Could see trimming like one one of our two drops that just you know like trade with shock kind of thing. Maybe we don't need all of these. This is really just the best. I guess I'll take out one of those. It's really the best for a lifelink thing, but it is pretty clutch with that lifelink, you know, lifelink creature giving that minus one. And then. I guess maybe a Johnny. Johnny's kind of cool too, though. Yeah, I guess it's just the Planeswalkers. Planeswalkers can be helpful, though. All right, play first. I'm gonna not shock here. I'm gonna go turn to Amara. Hmm, maybe I should shock. No. Turn to Amara, Amara dies, turn three. We'll maybe have drawn a land by then, and we can go hero plus flower. Hey, what's up, Dirk? Um, or if Amara dies, I can just if if we don't draw the land, I can go flower then Amara. If we draw the if we draw the land, then it's hero then flower. I guess we could go flower then hero. And save Amara. Okay. Drew the land. That's not a bad idea. I could try to find some try to find a shirt sponsor. That's a really good card. Um Gutter snipe out of there before that thing kills us. All right, they got three cards left. The bad part is these. Um, Those creatures are twice as big as our creatures. Okay, I like making this trade. Uh, I'm not going to trade the hero, though, because I do want to attack with three creatures and flip the landing. So we'll kind of see if they have another burn spell. Which, they could have saved their creature, of course, with the burn spell on one of our things, but... I want to flip Legion's landing, if possible. That can flip Legion's Landing. Hmm. But I'm just gonna have instead I'm just gonna have the four four that's gonna make it like really hard for them to get through. And makes it so like this creature doesn't just trade with a burn spell. 
Four four is just so much better than three three in this matchup with all these lightning strikes and skewer the critics and wizards lightnings and everything. Should be just way too wide for the opponent. Alright, can we get game three on the draw? We got the win on the play, especially when we had the removal spell for the gutter snipe. But can we win a game on the draw? I wonder if Huali Warrior Punta. Boy, it's gonna be better than Huali Radiant Champion. They can kill like Gutter Snipe with the minus. Hmm. I don't. I would. I wouldn't expect our opponent to have Chain Whirler, but you never know. Like if they have, like we've seen the wall, the O4 wall and Gutter Snipe. That usually means you're playing those instead of Runaway Steamkin and Chain Whirler. Like, you're playing a little bit more budget version of Burn. But you never know. I guess March can be really, really slow. Let's take a March out. Even though I know it makes life linkers, but... If, you know, like, they're killing our things and we don't have a thing... No, it's for finality, but I guess Gates of Blaze as well. Sweet has two out, two uses. But no, it's for finality. We need more lands. Bunch of two drops. Not gonna really do it unless we get lands. We gotta get up to this Tristani. Oh, okay, nice, Lord Boswell. Yeah, Herald of Secret Streams is pretty cool. Um, I mean, if I place, like, whatever I play is certainly getting bolted. Yeah, either, like, playing Shauna doesn't make a whole lot of sense here. It's just a 1-1. One, one. So it's it's either Hero or Amara. So it's which one do I want to sacrifice, Hero or Amara? I'm basically, like, playing, basically I'm just discarding a card. <laughs> do I want to discard Amara or Hero of Precinct 1? Basically. Um, I think it's Hero. Because we could have like a Mara then Conclave Tribunal, supposedly. That's a good card for them to have. That's a lot of damage. That's a good card for them. Come on. We didn't hit a single land drop and. After keeping the two lander on the draw, it's not good. Don't think we're winning this one. Risk factor is really good. Eight damage.
Okay. Did you grab? Yeah, yet I didn't get to. I didn't. I didn't have a chance to get to look at it really. So sorry about that. It's a good baffling end of the lava runner, but if they have, you know, if they have like the electrostatic field, gutter snipe, stuff like that, I'm gonna want to baffling end those if they draw those kind of cards. And now, if we draw a land, we get to double spell. Even. We're doing, we're doing better. Our opponent has not killed us. Maybe they just have a couple lands left in hand. <laughs> yeah, the Omni Draft format's early degenerate. Ugh. Guess it's not all lands over there. Good news is we're still at eight. And Tristani can take over. Uh, that card's really annoying because it deals, you know, deals two to us, like with the haste. Like would have preferred the other creatures that don't have the haste. Um No, I guess I guess we should save Tribunal, because if they have Flame McKeld. I could march. I guess I could have marched for one and just chump blocked and gain a life. So basically, turn the march into a gain three spell. We wouldn't have taken the two and we would have gained one. So if I play the Legion's Landing, our opponent shocks the token. That's fine. That's fine with me. I think I probably will instant speed march for one now. And see if we can rip the rip the uh, land for the Tristani so we can have that other token in play and be able to attack for two. Burly man with the sub for the twentieth month. Twenty years. <laughs> Thank you, Burly Man. Thank you for that continued support. That really means a lot. You are amazing. Ugh. All right, going to four. Not dead. And of course, hey, nerd girl. We're not dead yet. Four is, a, yeah, a whole lot better than three.
Kind of looks like our opponent drew a burn spell and they're trying to figure out which one to target. <laughs> oh, they did with the skewer. Good thing we threw that march away. Uh, one of these days we'll draw a fifth land. One of these days we'll draw a fifth land and we'll be able to play some spells. Alright, Pyromancer and Gutter Snipe. We're down to two. Alright, we got the land. Hey, Burly Man! Gifting out five subs. We're not dead for sure. It's not for sure for sure. It's possible they have nothing, I suppose. Thanks, Burly Man. That makes it seven subs on the day. So we'll be cracking a pack here. Where are my hype boats? There we go. So congratulations to our our sub gifts. Uh, Skizzles, Mayflow, Helpful Miner, 11, T Billion, and Arcade Jammer. So I hope y'all... Uh, Get your hype in the channel. Um, how are we gonna do this? I mean, I can kill. I can kill both of their things, or I can go to four. I guess going to four doesn't really matter. I guess we need to just kill their things. me what you're made of. I guess if they just draw a spell anyway, we're dead. So killing their things doesn't really make a lot of sense. You shall be erased from history. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if this is better, honestly. I guess probably just playing the Tristani is better. The, like, next turn we get to gain, like, three life with the Huali tick up. We're just kind of dead. I guess probably just playing Tristani is better. Yeah, not better. Yeah, I should have just played the Tristani last turn. So now I could have could have been attacking for four life link and playing the Huali and ticking up. We could have been in a lot better position. Their strength is your strength. Yeah, so I I messed up. I should have Tristani first. I keep giving my opponent another draw step. Because, you know, a 3 damage burn spell kills me. So, no, I I'm, should have played Tristani first. So this is the game either way. They don't have it. And then we'll just kill the gutter snipe, swing in. That is kind of the problem with putting gutter snipes in your deck is gutter snipes are not burn spells. And we saw that at the end of the game they they drew three gutter snipes and not three burn spells. Um you know, if they were, if those gutter snipes were chain whirlers, we were dead. <clears throat> All right, we are two and zero. Oh, I didn't, I didn't just go get the pack. Should have done that.
Sora Carasso. All right, looks like Mono Blue again. Could be Drake's, I suppose, but most likely Mono Blue. That was so tense. Other than. Fuzzy Jello, getting in on the sub action. Welcome to the channel, Fuzzy Jello. Sub number eight on the day. Thanks for the support there. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, glad you found the channel. Um. All right, so they're keeping counter magic available. So I do. Do I actually play a spell to get countered, or not? Nah? Maybe. I guess we'll we'll see if they have a. Okay, they don't have the trickster. Um, you come running. I think we can. Uh, this tie... Yes, this would have been a Spreza box tie. Yeah, so I would have got, I would have got this tie in a, in a Spreza box. Um, which is like a, a monthly uh, subscription like where you get a box uh, in the mail <laughs> every month and has a tie, a pair of socks, and a couple other men's accessories. Um, it's where I get a lot of my ties. And I, I think I still have a coupon code available for Spreza Box, I think. That should work. Let me go through that before we'll link in Todd Stevens MTG. Yeah, it still works. I've had Spreza Box for a few years now. Um. So, Essence Capture... Essence Capture would put, like, the counter on their Terramander and make it be able to block stuff, and I don't really want that. So I think I can kind of just chill here and activate the Adanto. Flip that. Hmm, that's annoying. You come running. Oh, I only have one green. Oh man, I was I was all ready to double spell these spell breakers with haste and, and swing in when I was playing that, but then I looked and I only have one green. Um What are they at? 12? If I just wait, if I just flourish 3, 6, 9, 12, I guess that's lethal. So I guess I could just do that. But I have to shock. I don't really like shocking. I guess it wins the game. Versican with the, the tier 1 sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new sub, Versican. Welcome to the channel. All right, so that's sub number nine on the day. <laughs> yeah, the random kill out of nowhere. Uh, let's see, we have some baffling ends, some harpooners, and some not you, not you, Cinder Vines. Yes, you collision. So we have the seven two mana removal spells. We got an extra tribunal, um, and then uh, I think we take out some of these waddles, unfortunately. Just kind of to trim the, the Planeswalkers. I guess Tristani is not really necessarily the best in this matchup. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, the Planeswalkers are probably better than Tristani. Um, I don't know. Tristani's just kind of great. Um, March comes on out. <laughs>
Let's take out all the waddles. I guess like I did I think I just take out all the waddles and I, I think I left in one a Johnny last time because of Harpooner, even though it's just something that's not gonna happen too often, but it can happen. Yeah, like we could we could play tower defense and just randomly get our mono blue opponent with the reach. We could. Yeah, they had Melody last time. We'll play one Tristani and two marches. This is marches instant speed. Yeah. So I get to like throw the march down on their end step and then untap and play something else. Yeah, Tristani's great against Melody. I'm not sure if they're keeping a Melody. Maybe they do. Hmm. Yeah, this deck is is pretty awesome. Even though it was just a, a Hawali mean deck at first, but realized, wait, this deck's actually really good. Oh, which what was your favorite emo? Panther. Ugh, all removal? I don't like this all removal hand. We need some threats. Ah, uh, the Sun and Moon. Yeah, Sun and Moon just, you know. It was like, you know, it was 2015 and a long time ago. I'm gonna leave Collision up. Don't think we need to throw in another tap land for anything. Yes, because Cinder Vines for Curious Obsession is uh, very narrow. That's why we're not playing it. And our hand's terrible. Our hand's what the Spaniards would call El Terrible. I want this to get countered. Because then I want my Harpooner to resolve. Counter it. Counter it. Counter it. Tilt. No, you're right. That that emote was really happy and cheerful. The Sun and Moon emote. It was a great one. They're chilling with seven cards in their hand over there. It's possible they have to go to discard. Like, they're not playing lands. It's possible if I don't play anything, they have to go to discard, or... We can kind of wait till we can play multiple things. I guess that's annoying. Slightly. On my removal sorcerer speed. Yeah, they, they draw a card, but they have to discard. Um... Go to discard. Alright, we finally have something to play. Hey, Jelly Tug.
Do I have a least favorite planeswalker? Like, not necessarily the card, but just, like, character-wise? Not much coming to mind right now. I have to kind of look at the Planeswalker list. Um, but nobody off the top of my head. I mean, maybe it's Teferi, just being like a, a time Planeswalker. It's, I don't know, it's lame. Dovin? Yeah, Dovin's pretty boring. Yeah, Tabalt's cool. Yeah, I did see Dovin. So of course dive down's like the annoying thing, like I don't get to like Conclave Tribunal in response, you know, like all, our removal being sorcery speed. You know, that would have been really nice to be able to tribunal in response and still take the Tempest Gin. Um and be able to attack in. Um No, I do like a Johnny just cause basically because of Hawkeye. Uh but honestly I really like Kuali. Um, I think that just, uh, you know, riding around with on dinosaurs and stuff and is pretty cool. And so I think Kuali is really cool. Uh, let's keep them from drawing a card. So down to three cards. Angrath's awesome too. Yeah, the Ixalan Planeswalkers are cool. Angrath and Huali. Those are both awesome. I mean, Vraska is an Ixalan Planeswalker too, but Vraska's, you know, been a Planeswalker for a while besides that. Hey, Colonel Fault. Why not march for three there? So certainly considering it. I was kind of figuring that we could have a better march of the multitudes. Than that. Cure is boring until you remember she stole the Biden of, of a god that is coming back to steal an island creature. We can play around Spell Pierce. But yeah, you're right. They they probably have a Spell Pierce. It's probably one of their cards. It's just... Yeah, I think I played this card. No, no, no. No, I didn't want to actually do that. Where's like... Dang, I wanted to tap one of these and be able to play around double Spell Pierce. All right, they have dive down. Got a little punished for not doing the end step march for three because we drew the legions landing that we could have had flipped. But I think this tempest is gonna kind of take over. Double protection for the Tempest Gen. I've just been, I'm just too slow at this point. <laughs> yeah, through two Harpooners. Yeah, if you, if you don't do anything for the first, you know, forever turns against Mono Blue, it's really good for them because. That all their spells are really cheap. They get a setup and just be able to 
know, wade and sculpt their hand like this. We can't, you just can't uh, be this slow against Mono Blue as we were this game. You know, we didn't do anything the first, like, seven turns or whatever. I'm just gonna do it for everything. I know, get spell pierced, but whatever. We kind of need to flourish anyway. And flourish would have died to spell pierce. All right, so if I if I try to collision the Tempest Gen, they kill it with Storm Tamer, so that's that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to Colossus my Life Link thing, because um, collision just doesn't work. That keeps it from having Life Link. Thanks, Needy. Needy Rat. Um. All right, yeah, March kind of sucks. Let's take that card out. All these planeswalkers. I think Huatli's. I, mean, I do want to want a Tristani and a Huatli. Yeah, let's keep the Tristanis in. Do I actually want to tower defense? Oh, I think I may need to change that, Genie. I think because I, you know, was trying stuff out. I think I need to to switch that mana base. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. So I actually want to tower defense. Hmm. No. Okay, we don't have don't have green or don't have red mana. Sorry. Do I need two green for anything? I guess maybe double spelling stuff. Probably more likely that I need a third white with these histories than I need a second green. Okay, good, good. I'm not sure if our opponent took history of Benalia 101, so we'll try to teach him a lesson. This is an awkward uh, turn for us. Um, Essence Capture giving a 1-1 counter to their Surge Mare is a problem. Um, for the most part, it's it's kind of Essence Capture is like the only thing that counters the Spellbreaker, though, where History would have a lot more things, you know, Negate, Spell Pierce. There's a lot more things that counter the History. I 
That being said, I'm still going to go with the history. Because we have some good spells with Huatli and Conclave Tribunal. They didn't counter that. So I could Tribunal this Surge Mare now. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait till next turn. This Playing these histories here puts a lot of pressure on the opponent to do something. Trickster counts as doing something. It's a good card. Yeah, they had, they had the two mana to be able to block and pump the Surge Mare, so I couldn't, couldn't attack in. I don't really mind that thing getting countered. Um, this this means I can't attack with one. Oh no no! I need to attack with all of them to flip the landing. But I probably want to just take the surge mare out of here. I guess I didn't, I didn't need a shock then. I was thinking I was going to just tap one of my creatures and, you know, be able to uh, take that thing out pre-combat, but then realize I wasn't going to be flipping the Adanto. So could just stay at, could have just stayed at 20 here. It's a little unnecessary for the, uh, the Tribunal. So we have a lot of pressure on the opponent, you know, with all these 4-3s. They're going to have to play something else, so I'd, it's unlikely they'll be able to counter Huatli as well. And we don't need... Um, don't need to worry about the Terramander um, adapting. The flyer just doesn't really like the the wall is like a really annoying card. Um. So this kills them if they, unless they have dive down. I could I could go with the not make them block kind of thing and try to kill them. I mean I guess I just do that. Force them to have dive down. They have to have specifically dive down. Nothing else. Saves them. Sp we get to play around spell pierce. I think we can go for the win. This is about to get interesting. Witness my glory. Witness my fame. Good job, Huali. We are a witness to your glory and your fame. All right, 3-0 with Naya Huatli. Okay, we got to our first sub goal there a little bit ago. Let's crack a pack open to celebrate getting to that sub goal. I think we're doing some Ixalan for now. That's it. We'll get M19 next time. Let's see what we got. Tilanali skin shifter. It's pretty sweet art on this card. Um, you know, unfortunately, not that good of a card, but it's cool art. So we'll take it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we'll see if we get to use our Huatlis a little more. We haven't used the Huatlis too much. Yeah, it is a clone with haste. You don't get to clone... Um, you do not get to clone legendary creatures. But, of course, you don't usually clone legendary creatures. And, like, the other creatures have to be attacking and stuff, too, right? Doesn't it just only clone another attacking creature, right? You've been messing around with some Mirror March and Gates creatures? Yeah, that does sound like it can get pretty ridiculous. Uh, no blockers. Mirror March is a card that I haven't, I haven't really experimented with myself yet. Fortunately, these Radiant Champions aren't too great here against the Burn deck. Our hand's been pretty good. Yeah, this is not a matchup for the Radiant Champions, unfortunately. Oh yeah, Mirror March with Biogenic Ooze, Siege Gang Commander, and Tristani. Well, I guess Tristani's are legendary. But yeah, Biogenic Ooze, Siege Gang. Man, their hand was really good. Especially against mine. Yeah, you get the tokens, correct. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think Demir Midrange is very good. I think it has a whole lot of holes. I can't really foresee a way we're going to win this game. I mean, this is making this block... I mean, I guess I'm blocking here. I can't really beat any spells anyway. If they have more spells, I'm just dead anyway. Yeah. I wasn't beating that card anyway. Alright, Baffling Ends are coming on in, and so is this Tribunal. Um... Wally's out. This one, this is probably going to be a tougher red matchup for us. This is probably, with our opponent playing Steamkin, they're probably playing Chain Whirler, and Chain Whirler is strong to quite strong against us. No, I don't like playing best of ones. I'll pl I play best of ones some whenever people donate for me to play best of ones, but no, I've always played best of three magic, and that's what I, I like. I like sideboarding. Mid-range decks that I like to play are a lot better when you get to sideboard. Um, not very good in the best of one. Cindervines does actual nothing. Like, just imagine us having a Cindervines that last game and how much of a dead card it would have been. Does actual nothing. There's no there's no text on the, the card Cindervines that matters in the matchup. Just blank cardboard. Um, yeah, we gotta just... We can't shock. We may draw a two-drop, but... 
Um, we gotta wait till next turn to flower. Do like Spellbreaker being a 4-4. And then hopefully we can fill out our curve a little bit before these five mana cards. Huali's plus, plus two is pretty nice with like the game life. Um, or, you know, it can just make some dinosaurs if we don't have the creatures out. So light up hitting another light up is pretty nice for the opponent. Sorry, Gooball, I'm not, not doing direct challenges. They did not hit a land drop. That's awesome. That's really good for us. They have, what, a Remodi and a Steamkin. They can play one of those two next turn. So they get to play one of those two. That's definitely good for us. They're not hitting the land drop. Um, even though they can have a lot of burn spells, it gives us time. And time's a... A valuable resource for us whenever we have these five mana cards. Look to the sun. I'm just sacrificing this Watley. Uh, kill the Steamkin. And we just kill the Lava Runner as well. I, I mean, I, I can kill... Basically, I can kill Steamkin plus Firebrand. Or I can kill uh, Steamkin plus Lava Runner. Um, and I want to kill Steamkin plus Lava Runner, I think. I it may be better to kill the Firebrand. Uh, killing Firebrand does make it more likely that Tristani survives. Um... All right, so I want to do two. Yeah, I guess let's just do this. Um, it does, like, they'll sack the Firebrand and kill the Huatli, but, you know, they're not sacking the Firebrand and killing me. The day is yours. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. Yeah, and plus, um, having Firebrand makes, like, a single... Uh, Three damage burn spell be able to kill the Tristani. Um, I kind of want to kill that Steamkin, but then my Huatli is. not in the best shape. If I attack for five, and they use, like, double burn spell on Tristani or whatever, and then they get to attack in, is that good for me? Like, am I winning that race? Not really. Yeah, if I, if I played Huali and killed the Steamkin, then they could just have, you know, like, a burn spell kill Huali. Oh, I should double block. I need a double block. I can gain four. That's a double block there. Your strength. There we go. All right, we can chunk. We can chump Steamkin. Um, but yeah, just taking up the Huali to gain five. You know, just going at 
where like they kind of have to use five points of burn to kill the Huatli, otherwise we get to gain another five and so on. And them using five points of burn to kill Huatli means it's going to be pretty hard for them to do the 19 to us now. You got a turn one kill in the Omniscience draft? Awesome. There you go. Gift of Growth and Fervent Strike. Uh, give the Giant Double Strike. Nice. Oh, sorry. Uh, my... Uh, my favorite character in Smash is uh, Falco. Falco. That's like with the GameCube version of Smash. Um, I don't like Falco nearly as much in like the newer version of Smash. Hmm. So I got minus three, kill the Steamkin, um, and then Huali dies to Rekindling Phoenix. But if they kill, if that happens, well, I guess then Huali dies to a shock. So I can, I can just go to seven and gain another five. Um, then they could have Phoenix and a Lightning Bolt can kill Huali. Their strength is your strength. I think I'm okay with all of that. Yeah, I liked the GameCube version the best, so the new version is pretty awesome, but Falco's not nearly as good. It makes me sad. I liked Falco's smash move being a, a kick instead of a, a punch. Yeah, I guess, I think we, yeah, I guess that has been this league so far. We played, yeah, mono blue, then mono red, then mono blue, and now mono red. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess that is, is what we've done. Was it lethal if we didn't have them block? I don't think so. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we would have, we would have dealt eight. We would have put them down to two. These two are summoning sick. Yeah, we would have done... Would we'll have put them down no to two. Journey is painless. Did have a chain whirler. It's the best card against us. necessarily win. Game's not over yet. They only have two cards left in hand. Um, Go and feast on their flesh. But yeah, no, I, I didn't. I guess I did not play very well around Chain Whirler. I guess I could have done better against Chain Whirler. And that would have been killing the Steamkin. Do they have another Chain Whirler?
That's not a very good move, just pre-combating this lightning strike. I don't think. Oh, that's why. Still, I don't know if that was really that good of a move. This song needs another verse. Ugh. Yeah, I, I do regret not, um, I do kind of regret not minusing two on their, like, just one and one on their creatures when my, I think that's, that's the, the play I messed up on was the turn they played Phoenix. Um, I think I should have minused on their creatures, made it so they couldn't block, attacked, and, and put them down to two. Um... Alright, we drew a spell. Spells are good. And it looks like they hit land to land off their first turn with Frenzy. So we'll be able to put them down to one. And hopefully they don't go crazy with this frenzy. Hopefully they hit land land again. It's pretty unlikely they have five lands in a row though. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, we have we have three tribunals in here as well. So like we have we have three tribunals that we could draw to uh, take out the phoenix kind of thing. Marto with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for resubbing there for the fifth month, actually. So, yeah, thanks for that continued support. That means it'll be pack time after this. Speaking of tribunal. No, Deckmaster doesn't show the current deck. Um, you can find the deck list here, exclamation point deck. Alright, so game three, we've seen Frenzy and multiple Multiple Frenzy, sorry, and multiple fiery cannonades. This is this is just tough for us. They're playing a bunch of fiery cannonades and chain whirlers. Yeah, do I want tower defense against fiery cannonade and chain whirler? And if so, what am I taking out? Um, I don't love Shauna Sisse's legacy in this matchup because the games that you lose are like games where they're killing a lot of your creatures and the Shauna is just like a 1-1 kind of thing. Yeah, Mara is incredibly easy to, to kill for sure. Um, but that doesn't mean that we we can't just like not play our two drops though. You know they do die to like the die to everything. I'll play a tower defense over the Shauna. I don't love marches for how expensive they can be, and if they're playing all those sweepers, I think I may just take out marches just completely. Um, play another defense. Maybe I just play three defense. Cinder Vines is only good against Frenzy, but we did see a couple Frenzies. We have Tribunal also. I'm just going to try three defense. We'll just try it out. 
Because tower defense um, has your creature survive against finality and unbreakable formation does not. And so that's that's what we have it in the deck is for finality. Um Yeah, I think you're right. We want the shock land. It's like our fifth land though. But like I can get like a basic on on turn 2, like I I play Sun Petal Grove turn one, and then I get Basic Planes turn two and play that, and then these still come into play untapped. I'm gonna ditch it. Hey, Mr. Nobody. Yeah. I am having a good stream today. So you got a, a win at Standard Showtime. First time out with Mono Blue. Good job. Good job. That's a really good start for them. Steamkin's a hell of a card. We are on six, though. We're not really going to five, even though we don't have any of our baffling ends or tribunals. Anything to get rid of this Steamkin. Oh. No, nobody told me that, champ. Thanks. All right, that should should have fixed the deckless command. No. At least they hit a couple of lands over there. Remadi isn't super scary. Yeah, no, yeah. Thanks for telling me. I didn't, I didn't, didn't know that. Maybe they just have a bunch of lands in hand. Ugh. That card's a problem. Hathathon with a donation. Thank you so much. It says, um, new to MTG, but been on Twitch forever. This is one of the most entertaining card streams I've seen. Educational and very interesting decks. Thanks so much for the great content. Oh, that's, that is awesome. Thank you so much. That's really, that's very, very kind. And I really do appreciate that. I'm, thanks for the kind words and glad you're here. So this... We're actually kind of looking okay in this game, except for this Rekindling Phoenix. Um, but we we have the ground covered. So we got Trips Tribunal that we want to draw. Never mind, not looking so good anymore. Not good against that card either. It was going okay until our opponent found four drops. Four drops are strong. Okay. We need the Phoenix to die for a little bit, though. We need a, a life linker for this Watley, minus one. Um. 
I guess this is all I have. Nah, not winning this one. Your strength. We can go to six and we can double chomp. Yeah, Frenzy and Frenzy and Phoenix are two cards that um, you don't see you don't see very much in Mono Red list these days. Uh, are Frenzy and Phoenix, but they are incredibly good, and that's what I really like our opponents list. Is that they're playing a bunch of Phoenixes and Frenzies because those cards are really hard to beat. Um, that's. So I said, that's something you don't see too often. Good on them. Mulligan hand was a little too slow there, and Runaway Steamkin did it did its job. Three and one. We'll see if we play against something that's not mono red or mono blue. So far we've played against mono blue twice and mono red twice. We'll see if we play against something else. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, that was a, a good mono red list that our opponent had. All right, looks like mono red yet again. <laughs> this league's been three mono red and two mono blue. All right, spellbreaker, go break some spells. I guess that's the weekend. The weekend, it's the monocolored weekend. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Consider attacking with the 1 1 also. Do not really want to see Chain Whirler. If our opponent had their 2 2 block my Amara, I was going to play Hero and Amara uh, the next, you know, that, that turn, but they didn't. Couple burn spells there. So now they want to use mana with these team cans, they got to kill them. Down to hit him down to four with our two four fours. We'll kind of see what they got. They have you know ten mana this next turn, so we're st we're not necessarily looking amazing. 
Our opponent should have added mana with both of them, probably. I mean, if they were planning on playing more spells, because like they could have just put the two counters. Like they would have had, you know, three, 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 two, two here. Yeah, that other one would have been a four, four still. Wow, that's a great draw. That's a great draw. Is it worth it to attack with this 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, sure. Well, that, that means you're dead if you make that block. Yeah, that was that was a really good draw. I mean, Huatli was was our our best possible draw because Huatli just minuses on all these. They can't block and like Huatli's lethal. Um, but that was still a, a really good draw. All right, going to game two. Yeah, Lomo, um, needs to be on Spotify, so if you, if you have, you have a, a song there on Spotify that you think would work well, absolutely, um, yes, yeah, so we're bringing our removal, bringing the, the Tribunal and the Three Baffling Ends, of course, um, I guess I'm just taking out Quatly Radiant Champion, I guess it's just not gonna work, the, uh, minus one, and pump a big life linker. We're gonna have the Ajani anyway for that. We haven't seen like the the sweep the same kind of sweeper stuff, and I'm not sure if the tower defense was necessarily a great idea. So I'm just gonna take out the Hualis and, and one march and we're gonna go back to to keeping in the other two drops and everything and trying this. Um yeah, just uh, just send it in a private message or yeah, a whisper. I guess that's what those are called. Yeah, send it send it to me in a whisper. That'll work. And these are good five drops. Yeah, sure. We're up a game. We'll see if we draw things in the middle. Um, you know, basically we have millions of cards that, you know, basically anything that's not a land is like a good draw that fills the curve. But we may just draw lands, I suppose, also. There you go. Thanks, Lemo. I'll check that one out later. Okay, cool, Parappa. Alright. It's a, it's a thing to play. You know, gain three life. Dang, they had the fourth land for Phoenix. Which is quite bad for us. Where's the Conclave Tribunal? How Phoenix is. Looks like we're going to game three. I just don't really have anything in my sideboard even for Phoenix except for you know, like like even if we had tower defense here, like what am I I guess I'm just like block block for a turn. You know, I wouldn't even have the mana for it. Just don't really have anything for Phoenix besides the tribunals. We just, you know, need to draw a tribunal. I mean, collision just doesn't really do it. Neither does Harpooner. Phoenix just comes back. I 
I kind of want to play two Huatlis here, but I don't really want to play three. So if we if we trim one of those Huatlis, what other card can I play? Like, should I play a Tower Defense, or should I play a, a Harpooner? All right, so if I if I had to play one of these two, like Harpooner is just like something else that just like dies to shock and stuff, and it's just you know like our other two drops can trade with a creature. Um, I think that's better than Tower Defense. As you can tell, these games like we're just not gonna have the mana for Tower Defense. So basically, just have this Harpooner as, um, you know, a three-two that can. They can just try to trade with like a Viachina Pyromancer or whatever. Which one would I rather get bolted, Hero or Amara? The burn that Cinder Vines does is completely useless, but Cinder Vines can kill a Frenzy. I, I don't want a card that's that narrow that's only kill Frenzy and does nothing else. Hmm. As we saw like that other game, that last game, kill killing a Frenzy didn't really matter. Do I want a shock? I mean, the answer is no, I don't want a shock, but I probably should. Back in there. We've certainly seen the weaknesses of my cards to mono red. I have a lot of cards that are, you know, that don't match up very well against what our opponent's been doing. You know, a lot of two mana two twos and so on. Could certainly make this deck better against Mono Red. But we got them down to just one last card. Hopefully their one last card is not... Um... Hopefully it's not a Chain Whirler. We can flip this landing next turn. That would be big game. Ooh. No spell. No spell. No spell. Uh, Tilt. There's better cards than Shield Mare. Like, just playing... If, if you want a card specifically for red deck wins, you'd, just, you'd rather have Shalai or Lyra. Uh, like those, those cards are just better than Shield Mare. We could fit those in. And those cards you can, like, bring in against Mono Blue also as, like, a flying creatures that Shield Mirror doesn't really do anything. Or, you know, like Mono White, where Shield Mirror doesn't do anything except for against Red.
we ever flip this Legion's Landing, please? Should we go down to not go down to five? Uh, then burn spell puts us back up to six. I'm sorry, the the life gain puts us back up to six. No, I need to flip this landing. Okay, well that's a card. That's a real card. draw. That's eh, not a, a great draw, but it's, it's acceptable. You get to gain a little extra life with this life linker. That is what we call a great draw. What the opponent just did there. Weak against Phoenix. I don't think I still have March in the deck. Or that matters. Do they have a burn spell? We'll see. Doesn't really look like it. Man, what a game. The old one-to-one. -one. Stare down. So if our opponent didn't have a burn spell, I don't know if attacking was right, but I guess they are like putting themselves in position to draw a burn spell. But I, I couldn't attack myself. You know, like when I'm at eight and everything there. Yeah, our five win dream still alive. Still alive. So here we go. We are four and one. We got one last match here with Nayahuali. Either we lose and we're done, or we win. And uh, we ha will have defeated our final boss. So that's what we got. Final boss coming on up. Let's go to our final boss playlist. Here we go. We So far we've played against three mono red and two mono blue. So I I'm, I'm calling mono white here. That's what I'm calling. So we can get the entire USA colors in there. Ooh, it's not monocolored. This hand's a risk, for sure. It kinda has nothing. Hmm. I do wanna tribunal that. Are they just team or reclamation? Yep. This is not a not too good of a hand against team or reclamation. Uh, Johnny, Huali, Tristani, those cards just don't matter very much. Um I'll be pretty surprised if we win this. Oh, I could have played Shauna because of... I I forgot about getting the other token. I could have played Shauna first before I Convoked. I I was... In my head, I forgot about the, the token whenever I was doing the Convoke math there for a second. So 
So yeah, I could have had that Shauna out a turn earlier. Um, I play Spellbreaker. Um, we attack for seven. If I play a Johnny. Uh, minus on Hero. We attack for four, but then the next turn, um, with a Johnny tick up and with playing Spellbreaker and with making another token, we are attacking for. Um, so it'd be one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So yeah, we'll have lethal next turn. Together, we are. There's more work to do. Oh, they're at 14, though. Now I'm attacking for 13 next turn? Crap, it's not lethal. I don't know. I thought I was putting... Uh, I missed that. I thought I was putting them down to 13. I was, you know, doing the other math. Man, that's like twice I did a math correctly. Heh <laughs> Actually, my, my favorite Final Fantasy game is probably 9, but I, I like 7 and 9 a whole lot. I like both of those a ton. Um, those, are my, those are my two. Um, six, I, I just, 6 was a little before my time. Uh, 7 through 10 were my wheelhouse. I mean, 10 was, was also awesome. I mean, just they're all really good. But, like, those were the, the ones that I played a bunch for 7 through 10. I am sorry. I must go. Wow. That is really bad for us. That could not have been any worse. Nope, don't think that could have been any worse. Um Do I do spellbreaker haste or nah? Yeah. No, I never play I've never played tactics, no. All right, so other tribunal um Cinder Vines and Collisions. Man, that main deck fiery cannonade. That was rough. Planeswalkers are just going to be a little too slow. This is not beating cannonade, though. Cannonade is just like one of the best cards possible against my deck. Otaku with the cheers. Thanks, Otaku. Thanks for the bits. So, I mean, if they're playing four total... I mean, I'm not just cutting... I guess I'm just cutting March. They're just playing a bunch of... Um, fire cannonades after sideboard. They probably have four. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this matchup. That is that's correct. Fair and Reclamation do not belong in the same dictionary. I agree with that. Okay. We'll see if the opponent has some sweepers and stuff. Got a bunch of little creatures. They are pretty good against 2-2s, though. You know, like, 
they play a bunch of shocks, you know, Shiv and Fires, th those are shocks, but shocks and fiery cannonades, like two toughness is exactly what they want to face, and that's exactly what we have, so we just don't match up uh, very well in that regard. All right, um... They just have fiery cannonade. It's just so rough for us. That probably means no fiery cannonade. That's good news. Ugh. Down to four cards. Put another land in. They just have four lands, hopefully. They're trying to decide which of their four lands that they want to put in. Um... Putting the card that puts the most pressure on the opponent into play. Because, you know, like, we're, we're going to be really bad against can Fiery Cannonade anyway. I think we need to try to win quickly before they find it kind of thing. All right, so we have, uh, yeah, we just we just go to attacks. Trying to see if there's any reason not to go to attacks first. Um, do I need a tri do I want a tribunal reclamation? I mean, usually I do. Like what's what would what would get us if we don't tribunal reclamation? Like if they play Niv, they'll only have three other mana. If they find Cannonade, yeah, I'll probably regret if I don't. So basically, do I th throw out Amara? I mean, we have two Amaros. We might as well throw one out there too. I'm not sure if they're a spell pierce deck, but we might as well play around spell pierce. I'd be kind of surprised if they're a spell pierce deck. They did not have a land to play off the Growth Spiral, but then they, they drew two cards after that, though. Um, ugh. 
down that card. Um. Yeah. It's, it's better to have a Danto against, uh, you know, if they just have like Shiv and Fire, um, and kind of wait for another land where another land we get to play Amara. Of course, they have Shiv and Fire. And then we drew the land, so definitely getting punished for playing that Amara there. Could have waited a turn, just made a 1-1 one, one at end step, and then be able to play Amara and make another 1-1. One, one. They have Explosion as well. I can't, can't beat Explosion. History, you know, like turns on their counter magic, um, does not allow us to activate it onto the first fort. And then step. I'm just going to go with the Adanto this time. I learned it from the mistakes previously of playing the Amara. Doesn't much matter there, though. And basically nothing in this deck is... is Like, the only important card in this deck that's rotating out is... Uh, Search for Escanta. And that is incredibly scary. This Wilderness Reclamation card is... Unreal. It's unreal. Alright, so 4 and 2. Didn't quite get there. Um, for that matchup, I'm I'm relying on our sideboard cinder vines. You know, we got four of those in the sideboard. Um, you know, didn't see any there. Uh, just had a bunch of things that died to fiery cannonade, and we came really close. Our opponent almost didn't find cannonade, but found it as soon as like the the best turn that they could. Um, that deck doesn't play Nexus. Nexus isn't even a problem. Nexus wasn't a problem before. Uh, wellness Reclamation. Um, but yeah, that, that deck doesn't have Nexus in it at all. Uh, I just, you know, just decks I want to play that, you know, I don't, I don't usually play decks back to back on days. So, um, you know, and, and I try to, try to, uh, split up the colors, um, you know, so not playing all of the same kind of decks. I, I do have Demir Midrange and Grixis Discard, so that's two blue-black decks, so that's two kind of similar decks here. Um, but you know, that, that kind of happens sometimes. Well, rotation happens... Alright, so yeah, rotation happens once a year um, to remove cards from standard, so that, you know, in four or five years you're not playing the same cards all the time in standard. So, so cards you know, only have a shelf life in standard for anywhere from uh, 15 to 24 months, depending on when the, the set was released. And But once a year, uh, cards are removed from standard, so it keeps standard fresh and everything. Um, so then in, in that, at that time, um, so there's not a difference between best of one and best of three in, in that regard. Um, from all indications on how that's going to be handled in modern, um, are that there that there will be in, a new s format introduced uh, where you'll still be able to play the cards that were rotated out and and will not be legal in standard. Um, so 
So there we go. All right, so for the uh, for Nia Huatli though, um, we did have a little bit of holes in in uh, the mono red. Uh, Mugen Soul, what was your deck? What was your deck there? I, I honestly don't remember. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we, we saw a little bit of holes against Mono Red, and, um, you know, we are we are bad against Fiery Cannonade and Shiv and Fire and, you know, Shock, and that's that's what the team or Reclamation deck's built around. Um, you know, like, we kind of need, like, our Cinder Vines there. A Johnny helps out quite a bit by, you know, having another way to pressure. You know, we just didn't kind of have those cards. You know, Spellbreaker is a nice haste card. We just kind of had every single one of our uh, two mana two twos kind of thing. You know, that's that's all we had were just our two twos. Um, so that hurt us a little bit. Um, but there we go. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, um, so I don't I don't I don't love Unbreakable Formation at all. Um, so yeah, anyway, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.